I'm Yegid Deliska. I'm a queer Haitian American visual artist based in Scarborough. Um, I describe my art practice by using whatever means necessary. I like working with multiple different materials, usually painting. Uh, portraits are something I really find interesting and captivating. I think I've and I've decided to be an artist many times in my life. Uh, most recently, right when the pandemic hit, I lost my job and I had nothing else to do but draw. And I was also going through like a lot of uh, a lot of uh, painful experiences, a lot of grief, and I, I felt like I needed to to do something. And visual arts, painting portraits, was the way that I did that. I find my inspiration with uh, the relationships around me, my friends and family, and my community. Um, Especially during this pandemic, I've really wanted to feel closer to a lot of the people that I'm uh, now far away from. Um, so just drawing their faces, imagining it in my mind and being very intimate in that capacity is where I find most of my inspiration. I'm actually developing uh, my first solo show at, that's going to be at the Whippersnapper Gallery. Um, and it's called Don't Go Unspoken with a few large gouache paintings, cutouts, sort of sculpture really thing, and 12 other miniature paintings. My favorite snack food is snack foods. Uh, definitely when I'm working, something really easy and nice to eat. <laughs> That's it. Bye. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Ingredients. A gouache kit, a rag, a spray bottle, two jars of water, a palette, tape, paint brushes, and watercolor paper. Step one. Find some inspiration and reference to work from. Something that puzzles you always makes for an interesting painting. Step two, set up all your paint supplies. Make sure everything's within arm's reach. Having a clear and efficient setup helps you stay focused. Step three, tape the edges of your paper you're working on. This will create a crisp border framing your painting. And if you're working on a single sheet of paper, this will prevent the paper from buckling. Step four, create a light sketch to work from. Outline the darkest dark and the highlights to guide you throughout the painting process. Step five, time to start painting. When painting with gouache, it's best to build from thin to thick. Steadily add more paint as you go and make sure each layer is dry before adding a new one. Step six, time to add in the background and finishing touches. You can finish up everything in gouache or add other mediums to enhance the portrait. Colored pencils, acrylic markers, or making paper cutouts to go on top of your portrait. Step six, show it to the person you're thinking about if you can. And if you want, post it on Instagram and tag me at Yegas Deli. I'd love to see it.